Okay, let's zip through these revisions. I know, so many revisions. Okay, a lot of these are updates. So, uh, Cutie Pie ESP32 S2, it's an adorable little Wi Fi microcontroller with the ESP32 S2 microcontroller uh, and a UFL connector, so you can connect any kind of antenna you like. Uh, this is now revised, it now uh, has much better deep sleep performance. Um, so if you are needing uh, deep sleep performance at uh, 70 microamps, we fixed it. It's ready to go and you can pick it up. So Next up. Next up. We have revised the ADXL 345. This is like one of the first products we put in the shop. Um, the ADXL 335 and 345. Um, we've been stemming QTFying all of our boards to make them plug and play. No solder required. Uh, this board is the latest to get the revision. Um, it's the same schematic, same functionality, same library, but no soldering required because it's got stem and QT connectors. Yeah. So a lovely QTification. Oh. Next up, another revision. Uh, the CP2104 has been discontinued and can't get it anymore. It's been replaced with the CP2102, which is very much like, but not exactly the same schematic. And so um, the Bluetooth sniffer board has been revised. Uh, it made a couple other little tweaks. This now uses CP2102. Uh, it's a great little tool for um, sniffing BLE connections uh, with Wireshark and uh, doing debugging and analysis on unencrypted uh, BLE messages and advertisements. Uh, so check it out. Works exactly the same as before. It just has a new chip. And uh, we just kind of cleaned up the schematic a little bit. Another revision, similarly, the Pi UART, also the CP2104 based board. I really like the CP2104. Quite sad that it got discontinued. Uh, but, you know, we revised this for the CP2102. It's a little board that goes onto your Raspberry Pi, um, gives you a UART connection, plug and play. And of course, you could also power the board. And now it's got a USB C connection. Um, upgraded it. One of those things, if I'm going to revise a board, I might as well revise the whole thing. So updated it from micro B to uh, USB-C. Here's just showing the previous version on a Pi Zero. Um, I just found this really handy for like, I want to power and um, send and receive data from the serial console on a Pi. Um, this board will do the job. Okay, and the stars of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our community, our customers is? Uh, the solar bug kit from Brown Dog Gadgets. Uh, Brown Dog makes some really cool, fun, toys and kits for students and young kids that want to uh, learn um, making electronics. These no solder projects are great for classrooms, for rainy days, for sunny days, actually. This one is, is good for sunny days. Um, and this one is you make these little like bugs um, and you have a little motor and a solar panel. Um, and when you put them outside, the little bugs, they get energy from the solar panel and they start uh, jittering around uh, like creepy little bugs. Who doesn't love bugs? Um, so there's a four pack, which is good for a small family or uh, a kid who likes to make a lot. And a 25 pack that's really good for like um, birthday parties, classrooms, camps. Um, you're somehow stuck with 25 kids uh, and you really need to entertain them 15 minutes. Um, this will do the job. And we've got one built here and I've got a lamp. I'm gonna try to do a live demo. Okay. This might just run off of the all right, so. Okay, so this is the, the oh. Yeah, well, I was gonna show, why don't you wanna turn on the lamps? So no, cause I wanna show this here? beforehand okay. and then I'm gonna right, show go this. It. Okay, so um, there's a solar panel here and then it's taped onto, you can see there's a little uh, motor. This is a um, pager motor, vibration motor, no soldering. And then you actually use these googly eyes as like a little like slider thing. Oh, okay. And then I've got this lamp. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so wee! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I've just got this little lamp pointing at it. Um, and the sun, of course, is going to be even more active. But uh, no batteries required. It just uh, it just kind of moves we around. We built a small sun just to demonstrate this. I know. So um, a fun project. Let me and... uh, show you what's going on on this side here. Yeah, hi. Yeah. I just got a lamp. Daystar. Daystar. It's not even that great of a lamp, to be honest. Um, but a fun little project. So, you know, if you want to do, like, um, solar bots kits, but you don't even want to... Sorry, it's my couscous. Um, you don't even want to do any soldering. Um, this takes like two or three minutes a piece to make, and it runs forever. Right.